Hello everybody, this is D King Bay, your book granny here with the Fairy Loot unboxing. Oh yeah, of the subscription boxes. I will say that Fairy Loot was my best, my favorite. I shouldn't say my best, it was my favorite. Let me get rid of these little peanuts because all around for the box itself, they are really good at making the box nice, the items be pretty nice. So yeah, I mean, mainly, let's be honest, it's the book. The book always looks the best overall from inside to out. So that's why I like Fairy Loot's box the best. So when I switched out credit, I just went to their book only because I had their uh, subscription too uh, for the box. Um, I didn't do that with Fairy Loot. As you see, I kept the box and the thing. But anyway, this is a book I ordered from Fairy Loot. So here it is. Ooh, Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin. That's pretty, huh? Shiny. See the side? That's hard to see, all those colors on there. Interesting. I have no idea what this book is about. It just looked pretty cool. And how could I get a not, not get a book called Tomorrow, Tomorrow, Tomorrow? <laughs> Did you know tomorrow is something that never comes? Because it's always coming tomorrow, right? But anyway, here we go. So I, I'll read a little bit about what it's like after we finish looking at it, okay? Oh, that's pretty. I like those little waves on there. That's nice. Okay, let's take this cover off. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, it does not have an alternate cover. Here we go. This folding's not bad. Look at that. You can actually see what the items are on there, so that's good. I'm always about that. I mean, I don't mind foiling, but some of these places go overboard. You'd be like, what the hell is that? Look like 10 foil on there. But anyway, here we go. There we go. That looks nice. Okay, let's see here. The end page. Oh, that's cute. And uh, the back. It's the same. And I can't remember if this is signed, so let's look real quick. Like, see if we get a signature. Yes, we do. Right down there. I hope you can see it. There you go. Yeah, that is nice. That's real nice. So I guess I should... Read a little bit of the blurb so we know what this is about, huh? <laughs> when Sam catches sight of Sadie at a crowded train station one winter morning, he is catapulted back to the brief time they've spent playing together as children. Their unique spark is instantly reignited. What comes next is a story of friendship and rivalry, fame and creativity, betrayal and tragedy, perfect worlds and imperfect ones, and ultimately our need to connect, to be loved, and to love. Okay, how was that? That sounded pretty good, huh? Yeah, that sounded pretty good there. Okay, I do want to remind you that it's March 2024, and we are currently discussing the Ember Blade. I'll put a link up there for you so you can get over to the discussion. If you, even if it's way past March 24 or whenever, come on back after you read The Ember Blade by Chris Wooding and we can discuss it over on there. It's a good one. That was a good book, okay? Also, for our next group, we, we don't have one yet. We're still taking suggestions, so if you have a suggestion for our next group read, send it on over, put it in the comments, and I'll add it to our TBR jar, as long as it's not horror, because I don't do horror, okay, folks? So that is that. You guys have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.